So obviously I'm in a little bit of a different location. I look like honest trash, <laughs> disgusting. I wanted to film this video so I can start using this stuff because some of this just came today. Um, so first thing, I'm just gonna get it out of the way now. I got a new saddle. <laughs> so I got this from a company called the Saddle Bank. Um, this is, let's see, this is an 18 inch. It's a brand that I have actually never heard of called Silhouette. It is a mono flap, as you can see. Um, this is like super duper soft. Like the seat's really cushiony. The best part is the back of it. It's got like this glittery like pattern. I, I don't know, it's beautiful. It's got, um, can tell if this is like white or a light gray trim. It's got the knee blocks and the thigh blocks. Um, it is wool flocked. And right now it looks like just putting it on Rania, it looks like it fits her really, really, really well. But obviously the saddle fitter is coming out Monday. So they will be the one to decide that. Um, but it is wool flocked and it's adjustable. So I don't see any issue why it would not fit her, especially because it looks like it seems to fit her pretty good now. So it is black. I'm excited to have a black jump saddle for cross country. This is kind of the, the idea was to get this one because it's got a very forward flap and it's got a thicker flap and a longer flap so and a bigger seat so that way when I'm over bigger fences I'm not coming up over the back of the cantle of the saddle so hopefully I like it it's super like extremely soft so I have a feeling I'm really going to love it so got that from the saddle bank it's a UK website there's a saddle on her it's pretty nice got four fingers shoulder clearance oh Renita quit got shoulder clearance so pretty and then I've obviously just got my stirrups off my other jump saddle on there I have in stirrup leathers and stirrup irons coming um but yeah that's what it looks like um okay so Next thing, let's get right into it, I guess. I got a half pad for my dressage saddle. This is from a brand called Gen X and it's fleece under here. So you've got obviously this being longer for the dressage pad. And then I got just the regular, there's, there's a couple different types of inserts. So I'll link that down below. I got the one fourth inch ones because I'm getting all my saddles fitted and flocked. So this is more so not to like add bulk or to fix the saddle fit. It's more so just to kind of help with my back to be honest, because my back has been really bad. Just drop it. Really, really bad. So I had posted. Facebook asking what everybody's like favorite half pads were and somebody commented this and what caught me on it was like they noticed a change in how their back feels along with their horses so I was like Ooh. so that's definitely what I need it was pretty pricey I think this was 225 bucks um, but it seems it seems to look like it would be I don't even, there's not even anything that I can really describe this to, but these, you can change the, the, um, inserts in here. So they just go down there in the back like that. And I guess you just slide them in, but there's inserts in the front and inserts in the back. I don't know how you'd get the, I guess you'd have to slide these all the way in. I don't know, but yeah, got that. Super excited to try that tomorrow and see how that works but I guess I will start with what I got from now riding warehouse so I hate just my rego like I'm just such a snob now when it comes to stirrups so I ordered these off riding warehouse um 
to put on one of my dressage saddles because I've got the, um, the, uh, which ones do I have on my other saddle? I've got the, um, Harm Springer Flexite stirrups, which are kind of similar to these, but these have a wider footbed. And I seem to have a lot harder of a time keeping my stirrups in my Mac Rider saddle um, versus my Holspos, Holspos, whatever. Um, so I ended up getting the MDC stirrups. I got the wide footbed, the jointed, because I cannot do anything other than jointed now. But I got the wide ones with the tread, and I've actually had these. Um, I've had these stirrups in just the regular ones that had the top, um, and I liked them, but I needed the jointed ones because my knees are getting really bad, but I don't know. I just kept, I find that I keep losing my stirrups and I think it's probably a lot to do with my back and not being able to really stretch my leg down and sink and sit down. So yep, these, I got these MDC ones. Um, I've had them before. I like them. So I bought them again. Um, so I got those from Riding Warehouse. And then the last thing from Riding Warehouse that I got was from Acavallo. And I actually ended up ordering two of these because the one I ordered from Dover, it said it wasn't gonna be here till June. So I was like, okay, cancel the order. And then they didn't and shipped it out and apparently it wasn't June so I have no idea to be honest what the hell happened there but um anyway I got this saddle like the seat cover um primarily because honestly just because of my back like it's been hurting like a lot and it's getting old I guess so I have to figure out how to put this this on but it's got this metal thing underneath and this is the one that is let's see this is the orthopubis gel one so it's the one that's supposed to help your um pubic area um so I'm not because like that gets sore too whenever you know you're doing some extension and stuff like that and they come out of being over their top line and then it's like this is primarily for 10 honestly like this this whole situation is for 10. <laughs> that's that's all i can say he's not the most comfortable horse so i am actually using the second one of these that i bought which i'm going to return i think unless i end up loving it so much and want to put it on my other saddle which i doubt but because these were expensive i think they were like 150. This is the half pad under my saddle. And then this is the Akavalo. So it comes underneath here, tuck that in, comes down here, and then through the back there. So I'm gonna try this out. See how this feels. This is a little bulkier than I thought it was gonna be, but I guess we'll see. Um, but this is what you're propped up on right now because I don't have any of my filming equipment. So I'm excited that came and I can use that tomorrow. So that came from Riding Warehouse. Um, what also came from Riding Warehouse is lots of grooming stuff. So I got um, Total Mane and Tail Control. It's for um, braids and bands. Um, I got this because obviously with the horse show coming up next weekend um, and it's a rated show, they're gonna have to be braided. So I'm gonna have to braid 10 and Zeke. So I got this, so it's easier to keep. And I'm kind of keeping this as like my show um, bathing tote. Which I already had it, um, but I'm just, yeah. So then I got, um, this little braiding set thing and they are brown. I could not find any like chestnut ones, but I think this should be fine for Zeke's um, because I have black and I have, I think I might have, no, I only have black. So I wanted to get some brown ones. So I got these, they are, I think they were like a couple bucks. They weren't that much, but got those in brown. So put those here in this little 
packet. Um, next thing I got was a repurchase. I absolutely love this stuff. Like I swear at this stuff now. It is the Steuben um, brush on rose and green tea spray. Oh my God, I love this stuff. It smells, oh, it's, I, I don't know why I love this stuff so much or why this reminds me of Zeke. Why, I have no idea. But for whatever reason, when I spray him with this stuff, and I think I, like, I got hooked on it when I had first bought him, and I think that was the first time I bought this stuff and sprayed it on him, so now every time I smell it, it reminds me of Zeke because he always smells like this. If you go up to him and you smell him, this is what he smells like. <laughs> so he just, he holds the smell for a very long time, which is really cool. But this I spray mane and tail and then, um, brush their, their mane and tail. I Sometimes I spray it on the body, but this is really for their mane and tail. Um, next thing I got was a little, a little hand scrubby. Mm -hmm. It's got little, um, a little thing in here to keep your, it's like a little, little pouch or a little strap to keep it on your finger so you can scrub. So got that to scrub. And then I got a big old sponge from Rowdy Warehouse too, which there's so much dirt in this thing. So I got this, plain and simple, pretty, pretty easy. And then, okay, so I got, next thing was brightening shampoo. This is from um, Elite Equine Evolution. Usually I use the, um, Usually I use the, um, whatchamacallit, the, um, Vetrolin one. I think that's what it is, but this one had, um, for, it says fortified with na nano vitamins A, C, E, and F. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I got it. Um, this is mainly for Zeke, but 10 has that one sock on his left hind. Um, but then I got from Car and Day Martin, um, it's color enhancing shampoo for bays and then for palominos and chestnuts. So obviously Zeke, Renita and 10. I got these two um, for shampoo. Just to, I don't know, see what I thought. So then last thing I got, um, at least for grooming stuff, was this Andy's Ultra Edge T83 um, clipper blade. I have two more horses to clip, so I got that so I could get them clipped. Um, from that same order, yep, from that same order, ah, I'm so excited. I'm super pumped because this is gonna look so great. Um, this is the new Lemieux collection, so, Things were like out of stock, so I'm waiting for, obviously I got the dressage pad and the um, bonnet, and I think I got the polos too. Um, but this is the, the only one I could find was this little memory foam one, which whatever, I don't care. Um, but this color is way prettier in person, like way prettier. I feel like it's coming up pretty true to color on camera. Maybe it, it, it might be a little bit more dull on camera, but it's like really, really pretty. Um, so I got that and then I got this. So this is obviously the Sage one. So obviously, you know, the saddle pads are coming, but, um, this is the Loire bonnet in Sage. It's actually really pretty. So the comparison of the two colors, you can see there, I'm just waiting on the rest of those to come in. Um, two random things I'm gonna talk about. I was actually super exciting reserve champion, um, for, uh, my show mid Illinois, um, horse show. So it's what, I don't know, something or other. Um, but I got, so my nails are literally horrible. That's fingernail polish. That's not all dirt, <laughs> but just, ah, let me cover that up. <laughs> But I got these ones like a body brush and then one is like a soft brush. So I'm going to put that in my show grooming box. Um, but 
yeah, it's really pretty. They're really nice brushes. So I got those for having two reserve champions for, for that. And then um, last thing from Dover, the last thing that I purchased was, um, I gotta try these on. I needed some more white breeches for the dressage ring. So these are the, um, the Slim Shaper from Ovation. And I got a 28 regular. Cause I gained a little bit of weight. So my 26s are just a little too tight. And stop eating fast food. Um, but these, I don't know what the big deal about these are supposed to be. I haven't even tried them on yet. So I'll probably have to put that on a later date and insert it, but they look like they're going to be a little snug. Let's see. Got those. And then I also got the Ovation um, Celebrity Slim Secrets breeches. And the difference with these are they've got the um, gray full seat. The other ones were full seat too, but these have the gray full seat. And they're soft bottoms, so I think the, the waistbands is just quite a bit different. One looks quite a bit bigger than the other. I have packages showing up left and right. And Alex has to keep bringing them to me. So that's cool. Yeah, so these 28 regular, like I have a feeling these gray ones are gonna fit better, but I just gotta try them on. Try them on and see, you know, you never know. Um, last thing from Dover, the last thing I purchased is, this was for the horse show. Um, in the event I don't want to wear my jacket or I don't need to wear my jacket, I've got a show shirt. I think this is, is this Amino? I think it might be Amino. Ooh, that's kind of nice. It's a little magnet. Is this Amino? I think it might be. But I got this in a 12, the UK 12, which looks right about on par with what I would be in. So this is actually a really nice shirt and then it's got ventilation up here over the shoulders. Um, the buttons are pretty sleek. It's starting to get dark. Um, but yeah, so I got that show shirt. So that's nice. Um, last bit pieces that I got, which are kind of exciting. Um, which I think you probably already know about, but if you don't, then you will now. I am a ambassador, whatnot, for horse guards. So it's a supplement company. I've had them on these supplements for quite a while. And honestly, they just, I mean, they're, they're a little pricey, but they're, they're worth it pricey. Um, they're all my horses. I'll put down in the description bar what my horses are on. And um, you can email the owner of the company. She's a vet and kind of describe what your situation is and she'll give the best idea on what to put them on but she sent me two hats my husband took my other one <laughs> and then we've got two tail bags which horse guard tail bags pretty cool and then I got a bunch of these little sample bags of the flicks treats which actually are they like and they're healthy I think they're like a hundred percent flaxseed or something flaxseed and then I got a bunch of these little iron on things to like put on saddle pads and um, whatnot. So that's super exciting. I think I got four, four of each of these. So to put on, you know, I could put them on shirts. I could put them on whatever. So I've got those. So that is that's everything. Um, I have like three or four more orders coming, so it's obviously is going to be a collective decal, but at least now 
I can put this stuff away and be done with it and use it. So I will let you guys know. I'll try and since I'm not going to have all of this all together in one video, I will try to get film and video of like this stuff on them and especially of like the saddle and whatnot and just kind of get used to like get film of me actually using them and kind of doing maybe like a mini review or something even though the video is going to be super long i may have to do it in two parts but i can at least get a review going with the stirrups the half pad obviously we all know i love these so i don't really have to do much of a review on that <laughs> and then um i'm gonna put my hey, i'm gonna put my hat on put my horse guard hat on i should have put it on earlier might look a little better um and just like kind of walking you guys through how i use that's better how i use them i don't even know what i'm trying to say i'm just so tired man but yeah i'm gonna take this stuff down to the barn oh bunny i'm gonna take this stuff down to the barn and um that's it for, I think, this tack haul, but there is a part two coming. So stay tuned for that. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will have a lot more free time coming up May 1st. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I don't think I've really touched on this too much, but I will make a whole separate video of what happened, whether I'm moving, whether I'm not moving, what happened with the job, um, all that kind of stuff, and kind of an update on where I'm going, what I'm doing, so you guys can be involved, but um, that'll have to come a little bit later. <laughs> so anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. And I said